Hi, I'm Tenyo Olash Shobowale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News recap for April the 25th, 2020. One of the best ways to raise your immune system is sleep. As the government continues to make efforts to curb the spread of the COVID-19 and find a lasting solution to the pandemic, there's a possibility that traditional medicine could be the way to go. In Lagos State, which has become the epicenter of the virus in Nigeria, the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akinya Bayomi, is hinted that investigations will be carried out in that regard. Professor Abayomi, who was a guest on Channel TV's Sunrise Saturday, noted that the state is pushing very hard to explore traditional medication. Meanwhile, as the COVID-19 lockdown continues, the Lagos state government is insisting that the order suspending school activities remains in spite of plans by some private schools to resume academic activities for the third term online. In a statement, the Commissioner for Education, Olashade Adifisayo, noted that the resumption for third term remains postponed until there are directives to the country. The Minister of Finance, Dr Ngozi okonjo Iwela, has been appointed as a special envoy for the ACT Accelerator by the World Health Organization, alongside former CEO of GlaxoSmithKline, Sir Andrew Witte. The WHO Director General, Dr Tedros Ghebreyesus, disclosed this in a tweet on Friday. On the international scene, more than 20,000 people have now died from coronavirus in hospitals in the UK. The latest figure shows a total of 20,319 deaths, up by 813 on the previous day. And in sport, Chelsea have triggered the option to extend France striker Oliver Giroud's contract by a year until June 2021, a source disclosed today. 33-year-old Giroud signed for Chelsea in winter 2018 from cross-city rivals Arsenal. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Tenyola Shuvoale. Thanks for watching.